The LPN, for those of you who may be here for the first time or who may not be familiar with the organization, uh, has been around for about 20 years now and basically started with the concept of getting to know each other. And right now the, the mission really involves to help raise the visibility of the Latino professional in Boston. And we tend to connect Latino professionals with each other. They can network, do business together, but also connect them with corporate America. If you have not registered as a member, please go register as a member. That way you get the invitations and you don't have to have a friend remind you and that sort of thing. You get the invitations, there's a lot of good information that goes out in there. And uh, please go ahead and register. It costs nothing to register. And the only things that we send out are related to the LPN. So you don't get spam or anything like that that you don't want to receive. I'd like to uh, uh, introduce and, um, and present to you uh, Chris Mahady. Did I say that right? Yes. Sales manager for the Park Plaza Hotel. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Eric. Muchas gracias por venir a visitar. My name is Chris Mahady. I'm a sales manager here at the Boston Park Plaza, and we really appreciate you all coming in and visiting us. I'm just going to take a moment of your time and let you know a little bit about the hotel. The hotel opened in 1927. We're celebrating our 81st anniversary. It's been meticulously touched up through the years, but it's never lost its Boston classic feel to it, as you can see right here in the Arlington room, which we're in right now. We have 941 guest rooms. We're one of the largest hotels in Boston. We also have 60,000 square feet of meeting space, which is also used for banquets, for weddings, and for meetings as well. So if you're planning a meeting, if your friends or relatives are coming to visit us, we would love to host them. Please, uh, please keep us in mind. I was also going to just discuss the hospitality industry a little bit. Um, the hospitality industry in Boston is booming. We're sold out tonight. We're sold out the next night. While lots of different industries are going through some difficulty, people are still coming to Boston. People are knocking down the doors uh, to come to this wonderful city, which we all live in. And uh, I'd also like to introduce our Director of Human Resources, Hillary. <laughs> Um, thank you all for coming. Um, I got involved with uh, LPN, I want to say about eight or nine years ago, um, posting jobs and recruiting. So it's been a great organization for the human resources professionals in the hotel industry. Uh, great networking tool for us. We post our positions on LPN um, and also with a lot of other uh, organizations within the Latino community. As Chris mentioned, um, the hospitality and tour and travel industry, it's booming in Boston. It's a significant uh, aspect of the city and the state's economy. And there are many different jobs at all levels. Um, we also have a little table of employees over here. Um, and they're representing many different departments, um, sales, accounting, human resources, rooms operations, purchasing. Um, so there's a, a lot of different opportunities. I think people think hotels and they think making beds. Um, and that's really not the case. It's kind of like a city within. Um, there's a lot of things that happen behind the scenes and many different opportunities. We, it is an industry that continues to grow uh, in Massachusetts. So we anticipate, despite maybe some economic slowdown, that we'll still continue to grow. Um, there are many, many job opportunities um, at our hotel as well as some of our sister properties, which are Starwood Hotels and Resorts within the city. And I would encourage all of you to um, visit our website and um, feel free uh, during the networking portion if you want to talk to any of our employees. They can tell you a little bit about their experience working here and what it's been like and the opportunities that are available. Um, and I'm more than happy to talk to anybody as well. And we really appreciate your coming. We've been trying to do this for a couple of years now. And it's really great to see the turnout. So welcome. Um, and like I said, if you're interested in finding out more about working in the hospitality business, you can certainly talk to me. Um, and then, like I said, we have some other hotel employees here. And if you're interested in taking a look at the ballroom or any of the other rooms in the hotel, uh, we have another uh, a number of people here who can show you around as well. So please enjoy yourselves. Thank you so much for coming. And um, I look forward to meeting more of you.
Thanks. When I, I talk to people at Mass General Hospital and Harvard University and Babson and Bentley and all the other institutions that the LPN uh, does work with, is that people think that if there's a college, all you can do is be a professor. A hospital, you can only be a nurse or a doctor, and that's not the case. Uh, hotels and hospitals, and, and you know, they need people in legal and administrative and management and accounting and marketing. So there are a lot of opportunities that may be uh, somewhat hidden, but uh, jewels nevertheless. Uh, so take the opportunity and meet the folks here from the hotel and you know, exploit this opportunity uh, that they have to meet folks in this uh, wonderful industry. Um, I wanted to recognize, uh, you know, it's a, a, an incredible uh, time for um, the LPN because Jackie Conrad, who usually comes up here and, and shares the podium with me, is on vacation, so she's not here. She's the executive director of the LPN. Uh, pinch hitting for her is Stephanie O'Brien. Where are you, Stephanie? This is Stephanie. She basically did everything to make this happen, so thank you. Ready? And so Jackie's asking. So thank you. I'm going to give away some goodies. Uh, I think there's a couple of nights stay or night stay in the hotel, not the presidential suite, <laughs> and uh, some other goodies. Um, do you want to announce what they are? I, I don't know what they are. Bags? <laughs> well, we have um, two gift bags for you that have all kinds of park plaza paraphernalia, hats, beach towels, t-shirts. Um, so we have two of these. So, um, Chris, should we? Eric, I'll hold it and you pick. I'll hold it. Any last minute cards? Yeah, last minute last cards. Last minute cards. Come, come on up. Come Drop on. your card. You're close enough. Okay. Okay. The first card is Dr. Carmen Ada Gonzalez. The next item we have, um, I don't know if you know this, but um, this hotel is actually quite well known for tea. And we have a professional tea sommelier who travels around the world and custom blends teas. So afternoon tea is, is a, a very special thing that's really unique to this hotel. Um, and it's a lot of fun and you'll, have, you'll get to experience tea and tea cocktails that you won't be able to get anywhere else. So, with that, I have afternoon tea for two. And this is Caprice Taylor Mendez from Emerge, Massachusetts. Thank you very much. Thank you, Caprice. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and she looks like a tea drinker, doesn't she? <laughs> so we have one more gift back. Oh, and this is Jay Cosmopolis from El Mundo. Thank you, enjoy. Congratulations. We have one more? Our, our final raffle is an overnight stay at the hotel with breakfast for two. So if you want a little getaway from your children or need some private time. And this is David Ortiz, not the David Ortiz, but the other David Ortiz. There was a pause in the room um, from Civic Engagement Initiative. Not the baseball player, but thank you. Yeah. All right, sorry if you were looking for the baseball player. But. All right. That was great fun. Uh, thank you, everyone. Thank you again, um, Chris and Hillary. Thank you very much.